Back in the 1940s, experimental work was carried out and that led to the hypothesis that one gene on DNA coded for one enzyme. This was then expanded uh, to say, well, it's not just one enzyme, that one gene codes for one protein. Further to that, they found out that proteins are in fact, or could be, made up of more than one polypeptide chain. So the hypothesis was further modified to suggest that uh, one gene codes for one polypeptide chain. So this ultimately led to students learning um, that one gene leads to one polypeptide chain. And we learned this in the form that the one gene is transcribed into a piece of mRNA, and then the mRNA is translated to form one polypeptide chain. However, we now know that that one gene can be transcribed into mRNA, but that post-transcriptional modification, aka changing the mRNA after transcription, takes place, and this can result in two different kinds of mRNA. So thus you can have multiple different polypeptide chains formed from one piece of mRNA. So the one gene, one polypeptide chain hypothesis has now been modified even further in that we now know that one gene can create multiple polypeptide chains.